Yo, what is up YouTube? OG, back again for another video for you guys. I'm going to do a post-match reaction to the Arsenal vs Fulham game. And it was Arsenal 2, Fulham 2. I'm still in shock. You know, I'm absolutely gutted at that result, you know. It's a disgrace, you know. To, uh, Fulham at home. And uh, and we don't, we don't win, you know. How are we ever going to progress and win the league when we can't win simple games like this? And I know they'll say, oh, there's no easy games in the Premier League and all that shit. But, you know, all you can think about is Man City would never, ever, you know, uh, concede uh, that goal. Oh, man, it's just I'm still in shock about it, to be honest, you know. And it's just so upsetting and devastating, you know, three games in should have been three wins, should have been nine points, you know. There's two games at home now. We haven't kept a clean sheet. We conceded one against Forest, and now we've conceded two against Fulham. You know, it's terrible. You know, at home, it's supposed to, the Emirates is supposed to be a fortress. We're supposed to be this controlling team now. You know, Arteta is trying to do all this, all these tactics where he's putting Partey at right back and uh, in, inverting uh, this and that. But it's just... Uh, you know, it, it it was working in the first two games, or at least we, we got the results. But, you know, it's an absolute disgrace. Within one minute, we've conceded a goal at home versus Fulham. You know, what are they doing? It's unbelievable. Where is the concentration? You know, we should be on the front foot. To concede in, in the first minute is unforgivable, you know. Complete lack of concentration. I think Saka did a back pass and gave the ball away and then... Ramsdale didn't react well and then uh yeah Lucas uh, Pereira for Fulham who's a quality player he puts the ball in the net and then it's 1-0 Fulham and then straight away we're on the back foot uh, one minute in when it's just some people haven't even sat down in their seats yet at the stadium and we're already losing so you know it's it's un it's literally unbelievable to like what are they doing unbelievable and then you know we're just uh we're trying to fight back trying to get the equalizer you know Fulham credit to them they they made it very difficult for us uh today they came with the game plan they got the early goal and uh they defended well as a team for long periods of time but uh eventually uh they, they fouled one of our players and we got a penalty you know I thought Erdegaard was was going to take it again he he picked the ball up, but he gave he gave the ball to Bakayo Saka, and uh, you know credit to Saka, he uh, put the ball in the back of the net, left foot uh, in the bottom right corner. So credit to him, it takes bravery to take the ball and uh, put it on the spot, and then put it in the net. So good, you know he's missed a few penalties, but uh, you know he he scored the one today. So good good on him, and he made up for I guess the the back pass earlier on. So. He made up for that, and then uh, he took uh, Kai Havertz off. He took Trossard off, and uh, he brought Eddie and Katia on. And uh, who else did he bring on? I'm trying to trying to remember now. But uh, but yeah, Eddie. He made a really big impact. So credit credit to Eddie and Katia. He came with a lot of energy and pressing, and uh, he ended up getting getting the second goal for us. And that was uh, two one to the Arsenal. So we came back from one nil down to go two one up. And uh, the Fulham manager was uh, furious because there was a player who was injured or whatever. But uh, the ref didn't stop the game because he said it wasn't a head injury. So play continued on and uh, we took advantage of it. And yeah, uh, the Fulham manager was apoplectic on the on the touchline. And yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure he got a yellow card for that. But uh, And that's, that's where it should have ended. It should have ended 2-1 to the Arsenal. Should have ended uh, happy days. You know, we've... We've come back, uh, we've come back 2-1. And then uh, the guy, he got sent off uh, for Fulham. Uh, I think Tete got uh, two yellow cards or, no, Bassi, his name was. He got two yellow cards. So Fulham had 10 men. We were winning 2-1. And then literally out of nowhere, they just, uh, their defensive midfielder somehow pops up with the equaliser, with a second goal for Fulham. I don't know how. It's just, it's, I'm still in shock about it, you know. At home versus Fulham against 10 men in complete control of the game. We should be seeing it out 
but in the 87th minute we concede an equaliser. Like, it's literally, I can't even fathom how that could possibly happen in complete control of the game versus 10 men at home with a crowd behind us. You know, did we just get complacent? You know, did we think uh, Fulham, that was it? You know, we'd, we'd taken the lead and, you know, they'd given up, but obviously they didn't. So, absolutely gutted, to be honest. Terrible result. A draw. It feels like a loss. You know, we should have we should have won. Should have seen out the game. It's a terrible uh, defensive uh, performance. Conceding two goals at home. You know, when are we got to get back in, in the training ground and sort these tactics out? Because, you know, I'm not happy with uh, Partey at right back. He needs to be back in the midfield. Him and Rice controlling it. And get Gabriel back in the, in the defence to, to bring it on and seal out the game. Why didn't he bring him on as a sub to, to seal the game off? You know? But, uh, yeah, shocking result. 2-2 two, two to the to the Arsenal, 2-2 uh, two, two at home. And uh, our next game is against Man United, who they were 2-0 down and they ended up coming back to win 3-2. So it's a terrible form of events that's just happened because Man United now are on uh, cloud nine. They've got their first win, you know, or whatever. They're, they're really hyped up and now we just feel absolutely gutted and now we have to go play them, so... That's our next game against United. I'll be back for a preview. What a shocking result. 2-2.